Hey Guardians, it's Coltrans from Necrotics Gaming. I'm bringing you a video on a Touch of Malice and a build to run with it. Um, I've absolutely loved this weapon since I've used it in D1 and with Pantheon. I was actually finally able to obtain it. Uh, never been lucky in the King's Fall getting it, so here we go. I'm going to show you some footage of it and show you the best way to run with this weapon. Um, the one thing with this is as you're hitting, you'll see your health bar is decreasing, making it several shots with it can return health. But what you want to be running is a really good restoration or health regening build. And you can see here the final round in the magazine deals bonus damage, drawing from the wielder's life force, and then regenerates itself. Rapidly defeating three targets, restores health. Guardians and more powerful combatants count as more than one defeated target. Um, you can see charge with blight, long press that button and what will happen is it will fire a blight that will disorientate and uh, temporarily blind adds. This thing is absolutely fantastic with tormentors, it's really good at breaking pretty much any type of shield as well, I mean it's super quick. Um, and using it with Child of the Old Gods on my Warlock seems to be a really good way of running it because of the health regens that you get with it. And um, hey, I'm just uh, kicking back on Void at the moment, really enjoying it. So you can see here, bam, super in, using the Touch of Malice. Um, it makes short, short work of uh, Tormentors. You can see here as well how quickly it takes stuff down. And like I said, just keep an eye on your health bar keep the child of the old gods going keep grenades going out keep the melees flowing and keep that devour up as long as you keep that devour up you are going to have no issue and the same if you're running something like solar and getting your l3 gens back um had fun with it in pvpt um absolutely slapped so doing hardware um a lot of fun and um i don't think i'll be running it in pvp that often but it was just uh give it an old time sake hit Okay, so what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at the build that I'm running. Um, works really well with the Touch of Malice. So we're going to be going for the Void Walker. We're going to be going for the Cataclysm um, Nova Bomb. Then Healing Rift, um, Strafe Glide, any any kind of jump you guys want to use. Focus Singularity, obviously for pushing out those Volatile. And um, Vortex Grenades. I like using those. Child of the Old Clouds. Um, you can see here, you're going to be uh, bringing back your health and you're going to be bringing back grenade and melee energy, then feeding the void to get that devour. Then we're going to be going for Echo of Instability. You're going to be uh, grenades and volatile rounds. Echo of Remnants, increased duration on those grenades. Then we are going to be looking at Echo of Harvest, feeding... Weakened targets creates an orb, an orb of power and a void breach, so you're going to get plenty of those. Echo of leeching, um, melee final blow, start health and regeneration. So we're going to be getting plenty of those in. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be running with this is Apothesis Veil. Um, you'll see why in a second, but you can see here that my output with the void is really nice and I'm putting out a lot of damage. Um, that is the point behind this build. You can see here everything in combo is really nice and the touch of malice hits really hard. The hypothesis fail, you can see immediately regenerate health, meleeing and grenade and rift energy for you and your nearby allies upon activating your super. After your super runs temporarily again greatly increase melee and grenade um regen so you're going to be spamming out grenades when you drop this out um so you can get yourself into some real situations with this throw out your nova bomb and then you are going to be able to spam those vortex grenades and you can see using the child of the old gods you're doing that area control things look a little bit hairy like <laughs> getting the health regen back and then i'm like hey bam eat shit you can see here, void breaches, you're going to get orbs everywhere and spamming out those um, grenades. Absolutely fantastic. Um, using the Touch of Malice with it, um, I find really nice because you can stay back and it just hits really hard. Okay, Guardians, enjoy this build. 
um, enjoy this weapon and um, definitely go out and get it. I'm going to be running for the catalyst for it over the next week. Like I said, it's avoided me until Pantheon came out. Um, love it. Loved it since day one. Um, absolutely fantastic. Go out there and use it. A lot of people avoid it because of the uh, the fact it takes your health away. But like I said, if you're running the right restoration or the right health regen, you're going to be absolutely fine. This is all the mods that I'm running with it. And this is how I've set up my Hypothesis Warlock. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Coltrans out.